Black waitress is fired for helping disabled boy. Next day, she receives a news that changed her life. Grace Johnson, a hardworking African-American waitress who is unjustly fired from her job for helping a disabled boy during her shift. Grace Johnson's day began before the sun had a chance to peek over the horizon. The alarm clock on her nightstand blared, dragging her out of the depths of sleep. With a deep sigh, she silenced the intrusive noise and rolled out of bed, setting out to prepare for another day at the Silver Spoon, an upscale restaurant nestled in the heart of Chicago. As Grace maneuvered through the bustling city, her uniform pressed and neat, she braced herself for the challenges ahead. The restaurant, a destination for the city's elite, hummed with an air of sophistication and high expectations. Grace, as one of their most diligent waitresses, was an expert at meeting and exceeding these demands. Her heart was woven with threads of kindness and dedication, qualities that her customers often failed to notice beneath the color of her skin. Her shift started as it always did, with her manager briskly handing her a list of tables to serve. The faint undercurrent of discrimination never ceased to sting, but she swallowed it with a resilient smile. As she balanced plates, took orders, and catered to whims with unwavering patience, she was faced with a spectrum of reactions ranging from benign neglect to thinly veiled condescension. Yet Grace, steadfast and enduring, never let these adversities affect the service she provided. For Grace, her customers were more than just hungry patrons. They were people, individuals with their own complexities, deserving of kindness and respect. She poured herself into each order, her diligence going beyond just ensuring accurate orders and prompt service. It was a dance of dedication, a waltz where Grace was both the dancer and the floor, uplifting the experience of her customers while absorbing the heaviness of her own struggle. Yet amid the discrimination, Grace found pockets of solace. There was the elderly couple who greeted her with warm smiles, the young woman engrossed in her novel who always left a generous tip, and the small group of regulars who acknowledged her hard work with gratitude. Their appreciation, subtle and often unspoken, was a balm to her bruised spirit, an affirmation that her efforts were not in vain. As the day drew to a close, Grace swept up the last crumbs, adjusted the chairs back in place, and with a sigh of tired satisfaction, locked the restaurant doors. The glow of the city enveloped her as she endured back home, a symphony of exhaustion and contentment echoing in her heart. Grace, with extraordinary resilience and unyielding spirit, found fulfillment in her service, joy in her kindness, and strength in her struggle. Her life was not a tale of unjust hardships, but a testament to the power of dedication and the triumph of the human spirit. Grace had learned to navigate her reality with grace and kindness, proving to herself and those around her that the dignity of service was not defined by those being served, but by the one who served. And with that unwavering conviction, she was ready to face another day, another challenge, under the shimmering silver sign of the silver spoon. The day began with its usual frenzy. The silver spoon was abuzz with activity, customers trickling in with the promise of a midday feast. Grace was at the heart of this whirlwind, her tray laden with delicacies, her hands sure and her mind attuned to the myriad of requests. It was a ballet of service, and Grace was the seasoned ballerina. In the midst of this, a young boy named Billy came into the restaurant with his mother. Billy was different. He was more sensitive to the world's hums and buzzes. The clamor of the restaurant, a blend of clinking cutlery, chatter, and the kitchen's orchestra seemed to reverberate in Billy's soul a bit too loudly. Despite the invisible weight his disability placed on his tiny shoulders, Billy tried to brave through the chaotic symphony. But it was too much. The noise, the crowd, the overpowering sense, they all bore down on him until he could no longer hold back the storm within. His face crumpled, tears streaming down his cheeks as a panic attack gripped him. Amid the sea of indifferent faces, one figure broke away. Grace, recognizing the signs, rushed to Billy's aid. She had seen the struggle in his eyes, heard the silent plea in his whimpers. Her tray was hastily placed on a nearby table, her customers temporarily forgotten. As she knelt next to the terrified child, with soothing whispers and a calming touch, she attempted to create a bubble of tranquility around him, a shield against the sensory assault of the restaurant. However, this act of compassion didn't sit well with her manager. From this vantage point, he didn't see a waitress helping a distressed child. He saw an employee abandoning her duty, creating a spectacle, and disrupting the restaurant's smooth operation. 
Blinded by his prejudiced views, he strode over, anger marred his features. His voice, usually hidden behind a veil of fake smiles, was raw with displeasure as he rebuked Grace in front of the whole restaurant. The other customers watched the scene unfold, some with indifference, others with thinly veiled disapproval. The elderly couple looked on sympathetically. The young woman with the novel paused her reading, concern etching her features while the regulars shared a look of disappointment. Grace, however, was undeterred. Her priority was Billy, his trembling form slowly calming under her gentle ministrations. The rebuke washed over her, but she did not let it cloud her empathy. As she comforted Billy, she reaffirmed her dedication to her job, not as a waitress serving food, but as a human serving humanity. The day ended with the echoes of her manager's harsh words. His decision to fire her for the disruption and the quiet exit of Billy and his mother, their faces shadowed with guilt and gratitude. Grace was left standing amidst the whispers and stares of her now former workplace, a sacrificial lamb in the face of a societal prejudice. Yet in the face of adversity, she remained firm, her actions a testament to her character and compassion. The following morning, Grace woke up to a reality harsher than she had known before. The routine alarm blared, but there was no job to rush to, no patrons to serve, no uniform to don. The firing had not been a nightmare. The unjust verdict from the day before, a cruel echo of her act of compassion, had become her new reality. Grace found herself in the unnerving quiet of her home. The remnants of her job scattered around. Her uniform hung in the closet, now a ghostly reminder of a past life. The unfairness of the situation was a heavy stone in her heart, a silent throbbing hurt. The tears that she had held back in the face of her manager's anger now flowed freely, marking the beginning of her journey through grief and self-doubt. The familiar comfort of routine was replaced by a tumultuous ocean of emotions. The echo of laughter and clinking glasses was replaced by the deafening silence of her small apartment. Grace found herself questioning her actions, second-guessing her instinct to help Billy. Could she have acted differently? Should she have remained detached, adhering strictly to her designated role as the manager had expected? These questions swirled in her mind a corrosive brew of regret and confusion. Despite the turmoil, Grace refused to be defeated. The injustice of her firing did not quell her spirit. It kindled it. The days that followed saw Grace dust off her resume and throw herself into the daunting task of job hunting. She filled out applications, attended interviews, and faced rejections. Each no was a blow. Each ignored application a setback, but Grace refused to let them define her. At home, Grace leaned into her support system. Phone calls with her mother were a salve to her wounded pride. Each conversation was a reminder of her upbringing, of the values instilled in her from a young age. Empathy, kindness, respect, values that she realized she could not compromise, not even in the face of unemployment. As the days wore on, she spent her time reflecting on her actions, revisiting that fateful day. The initial self-doubt began to fade, replaced with a newfound understanding of herself. She realized that her actions towards Billy were not a moment of unprofessionalism, but rather a demonstration of her unwavering belief in humanity and compassion. Her job search bore the weight of this revelation. Grace knew that she couldn't be a part of an establishment that prioritized protocol over compassion. She sought employment in places where her values would be recognized, not penalized. The day closes with Grace sitting in her apartment, a cup of lukewarm coffee in her hands and a glow of the laptop illuminating her determined face. The unfairness of her situation was a palpable presence in the room, but so was her resilience. Grace's story was far from over. She'd been dealt a heavy blow, but she was not down. The journey had been painful, but Grace was beginning to see that sometimes it was the journey that shaped us not the destination. As dawn broke the day following Grace's dismissal, something unexpected was stirring. Billy's mother, burdened by guilt and gratitude, decided to shed light on the incident at the Silver Spoon. Sharing the ordeal on her social media, she praised Grace's compassionate intervention and criticized the restaurant's lack of empathy. With a single click, the post began to ripple across the digital landscape. 
shared, retweeted, and liked, the story of the compassionate waitress and the unjustly handled situation began to gain traction. People from all corners of the world were touched by Grace's kindness, her selfless act resonating deeply within their hearts. Meanwhile, Grace, unaware of the storm brewing online, was caught in her job hunt. She applied at various restaurants, willing to start from scratch. The echo of the manager's harsh words still stung, but she was determined to find a place that appreciated her values. It was during one such application process that she received a notification on her phone. Her friend had tagged her in a post. Curiosity peaked, she opened the post, and what she saw made her heart stop. Her story, her actions, her dismissal, everything was laid out for the world to see. And the world was responding. Comments of support flooded in, the outrage over her dismissal palpable. Customers vowed to boycott the silver spoon. Others shared similar stories of discrimination and praised Grace for standing up against such practices. Grace was no longer just an unemployed waitress. She was a symbol of resilience, empathy, and compassion. Amidst the wave of recognition, an unexpected opportunity emerged. A message arrived from the owner of a prominent restaurant chain, the Kindred Table, offering Grace a job. They were moved by her story and believed that her approach to customer service was in line with their ethics. Grace stared at the message, her heart pounding in her chest. This wasn't just any restaurant chain. The Kindred Table was renowned for its employee-friendly policies, community service, and strong emphasis on respect and kindness. It was the kind of place Grace had dreamed of working at, a place where she could be more than just a waitress. She could be an ambassador of empathy and compassion. She accepted the offer with shaking hands, tears of relief welling in her eyes. Her ordeal had brought her to a place she might never have reached on her own. The unjust dismissal, the viral post, the wave of public support, all of these had led her to this unexpected opportunity. As Grace sat back, the weight of her journey sinking in, she felt a smile creeping onto her face. Despite the ordeal, she found herself in a better place, not just career-wise, but also personally. Her faith in her values was affirmed, her belief in kindness vindicated. The unfairness of her situation still stung, but the promise of a brighter future soothed the wound. Grace had found her silver lining. As Grace stepped into her new role at the kindred table, her life took a dramatic turn. The aura of the chain was drastically different from the silver spoon. The atmosphere buzzed with warmth and respect. Employees weren't just workers, they were part of a family, bound by the chain's principles of kindness, empathy, and community service. Embracing Grace wholeheartedly, the restaurant chain took her story and made it a symbol of their values. They incorporated her experience into their training modules, inspiring their employees with the tale of the brave waitress who chose kindness over indifference. Grace became a beacon of inspiration, her story a guiding light for those in the service industry. Her impact on the kindred table was immediate and profound. Policies became more employee-friendly, managers more understanding, and staff more compassionate. The kindness that Grace demonstrated was contagious, spreading throughout the chain and seeping into its very foundations. Grace wasn't just another waitress. She was a symbol of change, a catalyst for improvement. Outside the restaurant, her story continued to ripple through society. Other establishments began reviewing their practices, vowing to foster a culture of respect and empathy. Her story was a wake-up call prompting many to realize the power of kindness and the role they could play in creating a more compassionate world. But perhaps the most profound effect was on those who were most like Grace, the silent workers in the shadows of the service industry. They saw in her a reflection of their struggles, their dreams, and their values. Grace's story, from the harsh firing to the unexpected redemption, became a beacon of hope a testament that kindness and compassion could bring about change, even in the most challenging circumstances. Grace's days at the kindred table were vastly different from her days at the Silver Spoon. She was respected, valued, and appreciated. She was able to be herself, bringing to her job the warmth, kindness, and respect that had defined her approach all along. Her interaction with customers was marked by genuine connection, not just serving food, but serving humanity. 
As the final chapter closes, we find Grace at the end of a busy day at the restaurant, her face glowing with contentment. She'd made a difference, not just in her life, but in the lives of many others. The injustice she suffered had become a tool for change, her story a beacon of hope and inspiration. The hardship had not broken her. Instead, it had fortified her spirit and propelled her to a place of recognition and respect. The tale of resilience, compassion, and redemption ends on a hopeful note, a poignant reminder that even in the face of adversity, kindness prevails. Grace's journey underlines the importance of treating everyone with empathy, the transformative power of compassion, and the enduring strength of the human spirit. The story of grace is in essence the story of grace itself.